ladies and gentlemen. My name's Gavin and I'm a postdoc in oceanography. So welcome to this wonderful event. Um, I hope that you're going to take a, a warm message about the Ocean Sciences Campus from it. But I'm here to tell you a story about the very beginning. So what if I told you that if you took a leap into the ocean, you could travel through time? Wait, let me start right at the beginning. So in the beginning, or whatever story about creation you, you hold true, be it a Big Bang, or as the late Terry Pratchett said, a world on top of a turtle, a common thread that runs through all stories, or most of them at least, is that life began in the ocean. And that is certainly what we as scientists hold true and support. In deep hydrothermal vents, a volatile mixture of gases was spewed into the ocean, and the very first organisms are thought to have capitalized on these gases to meet their energy needs. And these first organisms exploded into the myriad of life forms that we now have on the planet. And this all was thought to happen about four billion years ago. At about two billion years ago, life looked something like this in the oceans. The sky was orange and the sea was green because the atmosphere was very different to what it was or what it is today. And these structures that you see right in the foreground of this artist's rendition are what are known as stromatolites. Stromatolites are microbial mats that are thought to have contributed to the evolution of oxygen on today's planet. And it's these systems that dominated most of the world's oceans for most of Earth's history. And why we are excited at the Nelson Mandela University is that we have a series of stromatolites right on our doorstep on our coastline. And what's even more exciting is that these stromatolites are alive. They're still growing. And why this is important is that most stromatolites are extinct throughout the world. And in fact, there are only two other examples on the planet where stromatolites that, like ours grow at the interface of the coast and the land. So we have a team of scientists that is working on these stromatolites at the Nelson Mandela University, he headed up by Professor Renzo Pereira Sonato, and directed primarily by the university itself as well as other partner institutions. And what, are we, what we are hoping to find is why exactly these stromatolites are still able to grow along our coastline, but also, most importantly, what they can tell us about the past. So there you have it. Professor Renzo Peritonato has just traveled back in time to the Precambrian. And he is now, and our team, are now able to see, or at least get a glimpse of what life's conditions might have been like two billion years ago. These stromatolites represent an important part of our heritage in South Africa. And they're an important part of um, the scientific knowledge that we can potentially glean from the ocean. Also, stromatolites represent early ecosystems um, for the origin of life. So we can now predict how life on other planets might succeed based on the conditions that we see in stromatolites. So there's even potential for extraterrestrial searching from stromatolites. So we as the Nelson Mandela University have a pivotal role to play as the custodians of these ancient ecosystems. So I hope you all know what stromatolites are and certainly where they fit into the ocean context. Thank you.